Hi everyone, it's Norma, and I am actually on my way to Ohio to see my mom. And so I thought I'd make a quick stop in Dundee, Michigan. This is the Raisin River. And the reason I decided to stop here is because guess what's here? Swan Creek Candle Company. Yes, there it is. So I haven't been here in over a year. I passed by this way several times last year and I just never stopped. I just resisted temptation. But today I'm gonna stop in and see what they have. It's a little drizzly out here, so I'm glad it wasn't completely full rain so I could stop and take this quick little video for you. Isn't the river pretty? Well, it is starting to rain now, so I better get inside. Well, darn, the stairs are closed, which is the way I normally go. So I'll have to figure out how to get inside. Hopefully this is it.
Hi everyone, it's Norma. And in case you haven't guessed, I paid a visit to Swan Creek today. And I'm kind of glad it was on the first part of my journey. Um, I was driving down to Ohio to see my mom. And oh, I'm glad I did the candle store first because it kind of made the trip worth it. Um, after I left there, I got caught in construction and it took me like 45 minutes to go a route that normally takes me 10 minutes and of course I hit the same construction on the way back so all in all by the time I got to Ohio um, to see my mom it was like 2 o'clock and I had to leave by 4 30 and it was, it was like rolling crazy but um, I got her her groceries did some little spring cleaning and uh, picked up some candles along the way so um, before I get into what I actually purchased I'm going to just briefly run over the new spring releases that came out with Swan Creek. So they had um, Elderberry and Rosewater, Farmer's Market, Glowing Garden, Irish Wild Ocean, Lavender and Coconut Water, Mountainberry Parfait, New England Saltwater Taffy, Oh Sugar Sugar Da 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 Bum 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 and pistachio cream milkshake and raspberry rosé Saturday morning cereal and milk so the ones I didn't get I'll just briefly go over there's desert sage and cedar wood which is fresh and herbaceous with a hint of exotic woods this is the perfect unisex fragrance white sage texas cedar mountain moss juniper and crushed thyme mingled together for a cleansing and harmonizing fragrance experience honestly i don't even know if i pick this one up to sniff because there's nothing coming back in my mind about it i know i saw it but i just can't even put any kind of scent to it whatsoever sorry they did have a sage and citrus there that I picked up that, that must have been an older scent that was nice um, but this one I'm just sorry it's not ringing a bell whatsoever um, another one I didn't pick up is farmers market a cornucopia for the senses earthy wood notes green leaves summer citrus and bamboo all combined together to replicate a fresh local market with hints of wild grass as an undertone fresh light and layered um i can't remember this one either i do remember smelling it and it was so unlike what I was expecting um because you know everyone I'm sure is familiar with Yankee Candles Farmer's Market which is like a you know a peach warm apple-y type set um this is nothing 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 like Yankee Candles Farmer's Market which I think is a beautiful set I just remember picking it up and it's like this is kind of odd it was just like it didn't appeal to me um, I, you know, I'm sure somebody's going to love it, but it was just, I don't know. I, I, I think they should have named it something different because, you know, when I think of farmer's market, I'm even either thinking of like beautiful florals or, or fruits and vegetables. I, I couldn't, I couldn't quite figure out what I was smelling there. So it was like, yeah, I passed that one up. Um. Irish Wild Ocean, new ozonic and clean with subtle green notes. This elixir is a blend of sea mist, rock salt, Irish green moss, and hints of amber and cedarwood for a unisex fragrance that is a nod toward our friends over the pond. Understated and light without being perfumey, this is a perfect springtime fragrance. Um, out of all of the new spring scents, this is the one that tends toward being cologne. It was light, it was pleasant, um, but it was like, you know, not really something I was looking for. Um, they also had another one I don't think I mentioned. Um, I think it was Rainwater or Rain something, Summer Rain, something like that. Um, and that was like a nice watery scent too, but the ocean, 
what did I say it was called? I'm sorry. The Irish Wild Ocean definitely had a little bit of a cologne note to it. Lavender and coconut water. I was interested in this one, but I did not pick it up. Watery light notes of coconut are infused with real French and Bulgarian lavender, a touch of clover, and finished with hints of Italian bergamot for a botanical blend that is smooth, herbal, and uplifting without being flowery. Not your grandmother's lavender. This is a Trent Ford version of an old-fashioned favorite. What did I smell? I definitely smelled the lavender and I smelled the coconut. Um, I really didn't pick up anything else. It was nice. Um, you know, if I hadn't been limiting myself, I only wanted to pick up um, four, <laughs> four of the drizzle melts and one candle. And as you can see, I have six drizzle melts and two candles. So I kind of overwent what I wanted to get. So it was, I had a limit. Um, I was interested in it, but it basically smelled exactly what it said like, lavender and coconut. That's what I picked up. Um, a little bit more heavy on the lavender, I think, than the coconut, but the coconut was definitely detectable. Um, another one I didn't pick up is Mountain Berry Parfait. Wild berries, red ba raspberries, peach, and strawberry fused together with fresh coconut, condensed milk, orange zest, and sweet cream for a bright and buttery berry confection. And that's basically what it smelled like. It smelled like a berry parfait. Um, you know, not really an original scent, um, but it was nice. You know, if you like that kind of scent with the, the berries and uh, I don't remember picking up the coconut, but it was it was nice. New England saltwater taffy, a childhood favorite with notes of New England maple syrup, coconut, tonka bean, southern bourbon, and butter rum are spiked with salt water for a tangy and creamy blend that reminds us of summer at the beach. Well, no wonder I didn't like it. I was expecting, you know, New England saltwater taffy. I was expecting something similar to like Yankee Candle saltwater taffy candle, where it's more like a fruity type of scent. Um, and I picked it up, I was like, whoa, no, this doesn't smell like, uh, you know, saltwater taffy to me. What I envisioned saltwater taffy to smell like. You definitely did get the maple, the bourbon. It was, you know, a it was a heavy scent to me. It wasn't something that I think of as a spring, but I think those of you who like, you know, your scents like your summer boardwalk, um, I can't think of what else, uh, your salted popcorn one, I think they even have that scent too. Um, if you like those type of real heavy, syrupy, candy type scents, you might like it. Um, it was just a no for me. Um, and the other one I didn't get was Saturday morning cereal and milk. Remember when Saturday morning plus bowl of cereal plus cartoons equaled the best? Fruity berries, crushed cocoa, and toasted corn oats are layered with coconut milk, vanilla, sugar cane, and fresh cream for a rich smoothie and creamy treat that will instantly take you back in time. A fun, unique fragrance that brings a smile to us all. This was a big no for me. I'm sure there's going to be people out there that love it. I mean, I think if you like that saltwater taffy one, you'll probably like the Saturday morning cereal and milk. I picked it up and I was like, no. So I didn't even try to sniff out the notes and decipher it. Um, like I said, I was, I had limited time. So I was kind of focusing on picking up a sense that I would like. So without further ado, let's get into that. Okay, so the first one I picked up is elderberry and rose water. And the scent description reads, delicate wild harvest elderberries are infused together with Bulgarian rose petals, wild ginger, and Belgian sugar pearls for a lovely harmonious fragrance that is lightly sweet but sophisticated at the same time. An old world type of fragrance with a nod toward the modern apothecary movement. So, this one, I kind of think they described it fairly well. It's 
I definitely pick up the rose water and I definitely pick up a hint of berry. It is a little bit on the light side, so I'm not sure how it's going to do. Um, I don't really pick up the ginger on the cold, but I do just pick up like a, a berry rose water type scent. I mean, it's basically exactly how they described it. It's probably leans toward a little bit more fruity than the floral. So, you know, if you're interested in this, but you're afraid of florals, don't be, because I definitely think you get more of a fruity note versus a floral note. So we'll see how this one does. Um, I'm afraid it might be a little bit light, but uh, usually I put, have fairly good luck with the drizzle melts. Um, so the next one I got is Glowing Garden. And I actually have this one burning, or burning, melting um, in my centerpiece in my bedroom, but it hasn't melted all the way. So unfortunately I can't comment on the throw, but this one was kind of a surprise to me because when I first read the scent description online before I went to the store, I was like, there's no way I'm not even interested in this scent. It just sounds strange and weird. No way, no how. Um, but since I was at the store, I figured, you know what, while I'm here, might as well pick it up, give it a sniff. And Glowing Garden is overflowing with healthy fruits and veggies. This bright, crisp fragrance consists of guava nectar, turmeric, baby carrots, beets, radishes, and pink tangerine. A healthy delight for the senses. My God, people, seriously. <laughs> Veggies, turmeric, carrots, beets, radishes, what the heck does this candle smell like? I'm gonna tell you what it smells like. It smells like champagne. Yep. You heard me, people. It smells like champagne. It smells, I get the fizz, I get the fruit, I get the sparkle. This may be one of my favorites of the bunch. Glowing Garden. Smells like champagne. Oh yes it does. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Okay. So let's hope it throws. Um, now this is one that I know a lot of people were really interested in. And we have Oh, sugar, sugar, da 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 bum bum ba. Oh, honey, honey, da 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 bum bum bum. You are my candy girl. You know, the song has been playing in my head all day since I saw this. Oh, sugar, sugar, da 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 bum bum bum. Okay, so luscious layers of spun sugar, candy sprinkles, lemon zest, marshmallow, and blue raspberry are blended together with vanilla cream for a bright, upbeat, and cheerful fragrance experience. Sweet, but not simple. This is as good as the perfect pop song. Oh, sugar, sugar, da 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 bum 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 This was actually my least favorite of the bunch, and I almost didn't pick it up, except I know a lot of you would absolutely love this, and it's got glitter, yes it does, pink, wax, and glitter, and it kind of reminds me of Fruit Loops. Um, it's not unpleasant. I mean, I think it's gonna be really, really popular for those of you who, who like your um, cotton candy type scents. You know, it does remind me a little bit more, you know, I'd mentioned that the new Swan Creek sw saltwater taffy didn't smell like the Yankee Candle saltwater taffy that came out a couple years ago. I think this one is a little bit more similar. You definitely get that fruity, vibe. It smells, to me, it smells like Fruit Loops. Um, so I do have a couple going right now in my centerpiece. Maybe I'll give a quick pause and see how it's doing. Okay, so I just came back and I was sniffing my, oh, sugar, sugar, da, 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 bum, 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 and my glowing garden. And these two scents, actually smell very nice together. I have one in my bedroom, one in the other bedroom, and they're kind of meeting in the hallway. Um, they're not fully melted yet, 
but they're almost fully melted. I, they're kind of throwing light to me. Um, I mean, you know, I've had some of the Swan Creek scents like honey soaked apples that just blow me away. Um, these are kind of light. I'm smelling this one, the Glowing Garden, the Champagne one, a little bit more than the Oh Sugar Sugar. Da, da, da. I'm telling you, I can't get the song out of my head. Okay. So what else do we got? Uh, okay, we have blueberry lemon zest. And I don't think this was a new one. But this one is a seasonal favorite, so popular we brought it back again. An absolutely divine fragrance overflowing with lush ripe blueberries and a tart yet subtle zing of lemon sure to please all your senses so this one is new to me because I did not try it the last time again we have blue glitter this one I actually had a candle that was like some weird off-brand once it smelled pretty much like this it was blueberry lemon I don't remember the name of the brand um, but you definitely get the lemon and you get the blueberry but I get more lemon it, it almost smells like like a it almost smells like a lemon um, like muffin or scone that has blueberries in it it, it smells really nice um, not a ton of bakery to it but a little bit um, I'm really curious to see how this one does because I like blueberry scents and I like lemon scents and this smells really good and I'm definitely picking up a little bit more of the lemon than the blueberry okay so we talked about did we talk about elderberry rose water? yes we did okay so we're getting down we're almost done here um, then I also picked up one that I know a lot of people will go crazy over. Once again, not really in my scent wheelhouse, but um, <clears throat> I had to pick it up to try for you guys. Sorry. Sorry about that, because I was stuck in traffic all day. I didn't dare drink any water or anything, so I'm really dry. Pistachio Cream Milkshake. I think that those of you who love pistachio scents are really going to like this one. Um, last year, Yankee Candle came out with the Cookie Swap collection, and they had one. I forget exactly what it was called. It was Crunchy Pistachio something, cr Crunchy Pistachio Gelato, or Pistachio Cookie Crunch. I can't remember exactly what it was called. Um, I had gotten a milk cup in it because everybody was raving and raving and raving about it. And I actually, there's something in the milk cup that was a little bit too much of something. Um, so I ended up returning or giving away whatever I had in the scent. It was like, it was like not really for me. I like some of the other scents they came out with better. And then I also had a pistachio scent from Colonial that is discontinued. Um, I think that one was a pistachio gelato. I like this better than both of those. Um, it's nice. It you know definitely is that pistachio, you know, almost bordering on the almond note. So those of you who like that kind of scent, so the pistachio cream milkshake, the scent description is roasted pistachios, whipped honeycomb, white rum, and fresh cream are blended together for a unique lush gourmand sensation that is smooth and sharp at the same time. Perfect for any foodie. Yeah, you foodies are going to like this one. Pistachio cream milkshake. And the last one that I end up getting is a one that, again, I don't believe is new, but um, I didn't go to Swan Creek at all last year, so I don't know if this one came out last year because I do not remember seeing it two years ago or I would have gotten it. I did get a lemon scent last year that was called, um, not last year, two years ago, 
I believe it was iced lemon cookie. And that one was a little bit disappointing to me because it was, first of all, it was very light. And then I didn't get enough of the lemon. As you guys know, if you've been watching my channel for a long time, I've been on the search for this perfect lemon cookie bakery set. Yankee Candle came out with the the Girl Scout lemon cookie a couple years ago that was pretty close to the scent I was looking for, except unfortunately the candles I bought had zero throw. So I ended up exchanging them, didn't get, you know, I probably should have kept them and put them in a crock. I think I did put one in a crock and it didn't throw in the crock. So, you know, the search continues. I still have not found the scent that I'm looking for. So of course, I had to try the Luscious Lemon Vanilla. And this is good, people. Um, I, I think they use as their base the, the Vanilla Pound Cake, which is, you know, the probably like the first scent that got people started on Swan Creek um, in the candle community. Because the van Vanilla Pound Cake smells like Vanilla Pound Cake and it throws the melt, the candle, especially the melt will throw you out of the house. Vanilla pound cake and honey soaked apples are like two of the strongest smells I've had so far from Swan Creek. I, you know, to be honest, there's been a lot of hit and miss with them. You know, some of them don't throw that great. Um, so we'll see. Um, but this has a, a better blend, I think, than the ice lemon cookie of the lemon and the vanilla. So I liked it enough that I also decided to buy it in the jar. So we shall see. We shall see how it does. And the only other jar I bought was um, one of the sale candles. Oh, I didn't read the scent description, did I? Um, Luscious, did I? I don't remember. I'm losing my mind, people. Losing my mind. Um, luscious lemon vanilla. Rich and creamy vanilla with pure fresh lemon. We'll have your friends wondering where the cookies are. So, um, ironically, when I was checking out, you know, the girl commented, oh, you got a, a lot of the nice, you know, new spring scents. And she goes, yesterday we were pouring tea lights in the luscious lemon vanilla. And she goes, and the whole place smelled like this. She goes, it was fabulous. So... Um, you know, like I said, I was limiting myself in the melts, and so I was tempted to try some other scents. Um, they had like a, I think a linen and lavender that smelled really nice. It was like, like a nice balance of like laundry and lavender. You know, um, one scent, uh, they had pomegranate and blood orange. It smelled really nice. So I was like, why should I get, you know, a melt in the candle? I should get something different, but... I figured just in case the candle needs a boost, I like the scent well enough to get one of each. Um, and the last but not least, they also had their winter and holiday candles on sale, 50% off. And this is the only one I picked up. This is Black Plum and Prosecco. Um, a few people in my candle group had been talking about it and this was the only size they had, and unfortunately, because it is apparently like discontinued or whatever, they don't have a scent description on here. Um, but you know, it's purple wax, and it smells, you know, to me, it smells more like a spring scent than a winter scent. So um, that was one of the reasons I got it, because it's, it's lavender purple, and it basically is like a fruity, Yeah, it's fruity, like berry, definitely get the berry, like blueberry, um, maybe a little bit of raspberry, blackberry. It's like a mixed berry, plum, maybe plum. And you definitely get a little bit of the Prosecco, a little bit of that sparkling effervescent. So it's actually really nice. So um, I was glad I was able to get a jar to try. I'll probably you know burn this one in my bathroom in the spring, I think. Um, so there you guys have it. That is my Swan Creek haul. If you guys have had tried any of these scents, either in the drizzle melt or the candle form, um, comment below. Let me know how they did for you. 
And if you tried any of the ones that I didn't get, um, please let me know how those did for you as well. Um, I think I missed talking about one. Yes, I did. Sorry. Um, raspberry rosé. Sorry. Um, sparkling rosé with its soft shimmering notes of strawberry, green melon, and rose petals collide together with tart and tangy red raspberries for a slightly sweet yet delicate summer scent, light and clean, but not overly sweet. Um, I was kind of on the fence about getting this one. Well, of course I had to get it because it's rose and it's raspberry. And I happen to like rose and I happen to like raspberry. Uh, I definitely pick up both notes. I pick up raspberry and rose. I think I pick up a little bit more raspberry than rose. But the raspberry, you know, sometimes berry scents, like, you know, raspberry, strawberry, even cherry. They did have, like, that cherry almond buttercream that I was on the fence about picking up, but decided not to because cherry notes can be iffy for me. Um, sometimes the raspberry can be a little bit artificial. This was, like, borderline. I was like, I'm not sure. I wish what they had done with this is, um, what are the notes again? Sparkling rosé with its soft shimmering notes of strawberry, green melon, and rose petals collide with tart and tangy red raspberry. Yeah, I almost wish they had put a little bit of cream in here, like a raspberry cream with the rose. Um, and instead, they went more into like a you know rosé, like a champagne direction, which I'm not really picking that up. So we'll see how it does when it melts. I think if they did more like a raspberry cream with the hint of rolls, I probably would have liked it a little bit more. So um, in February, I am going to be do doing mostly, you know, rose and vanilla scent. So I will be melting it along with that. So I think I'll probably, I think I'll like it. Um, but I wasn't sure if I liked it enough to actually get it in the candle. So we'll see how the scent progresses as it melts. So there you guys have it. That is my Swan Creek Spring Haul. If you guys like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe below. And have a blessed day.